Hello dear editors, in this video I will show you how to replicate this Steven Giotto red line effect. Viral hooks that no one is talking about are one. As you guys can see, it's a pretty simple effect, so let's just open Premiere Pro and get started. But first, if you guys want help or just a community with editors, join my Discord link in the description. Thank you. Okay guys, so we're inside of Premiere Pro now, so the first thing that we're going to do is that we're just going to be writing a text. Do this trick now so i'm just going to be placing our text where we want it to be and what we want is to have a simple animation that takes out the part where it's a trick so to be able to do this sort of animation we're going to be using a tool called the pen tool you want to grab the pen tool and you want to press on before the word and after the word after we have done that you should see in the effects control something called a shape you want to choose the color of the shape i'm going to be choosing red and then you want to choose the stroke add that on red and then you can adjust the size of your liking of how big you want the shape to be so i'm going to be choosing about that size about five ish and then we're also going to be adding a black shadow and we want the shadow to be pointing downwards so I'm going to be putting the settings on the downwards. I also then like to add a bit more shadow. So I'm just going to put the size up. So as you guys can see, it clearly leaves a mark on our text. All right. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to be using this opacity tool to get the line to go inwards. So first of all, you just want to create on this four pointed polygon mask and what you want to do then is that you want to go at the start and you want to keyframe the mask pad mask feather mask opacity start by dragging this one out at the back all right so once you have clicked on the keyframes you want to press the mask and you want to take it behind the word then you want to make a keyframe then you want to go a bit forwards and then start dragging the mask in you just want to take this and just drag it in like this. Then you want to select the timeline, go some frames forward, and then just start dragging it in. And now it should look something like this. As you guys can see, the speed is not the same. So if you want it to be more same, you can just make sure that it's about the same difference between these keyframes. So I'm just going to be having more even space so it looks cleaner like that and that is how you do that effect yo i just released my new devin Giotto editing course so make sure to go in the link in the description and check out jonas editing club for only a one-time payment you will get access to all of my courses as devin Giotto course and the 30-day viral and in the future you will also get access to more exclusive content